Loki Tipo and his friends come to this stream every day and spend long hours panning for gold. They're hoping to find even a few tiny specks of the precious metal to support their families. I come here to make a living. I sift through the sand and look for gold because it's the only way for me to feed my mother and father. If I find some specks of gold, I sell it and get money to feed my family. The 20-year-old says he can make about $30 a day if he finds a gram of gold. And in South Sudan, where the inflation rate is more than 120 percent, that's a fortune. The value of the South Sudanese pound has tumbled because of the economic crisis caused by the four-year-long civil war. For many here, selling gold to traders is the only way to survive, but the government is losing out. Because of the inflated economy, miners sometimes prefer to sell gold to traders themselves without going through a government body. The gold is then smuggled across the border and sold for higher prices, robbing South Sudan of its wealth. Less than half a dozen companies have licenses to mine for gold in South Sudan. The civil war has discouraged many companies and miners working for themselves prefer to deal directly with traders who prefer gold instead of the declining currency. South Sudan's currency is not accepted everywhere. Things are becoming expensive, so if we can find any other currency like gold, yes, we'll take it to keep up with the inflation. The size of South Sudan's gold reserves isn't known, and fighting has caused more gold to go abroad. Traders come from Uganda and Kenya and buy gold from the miners. People find gold in abundance, but if traders give them $30 while we give them 20 then miners won't come to us. We are supposed to get at least 5 kgs every two weeks, but we don't get even 1 kg. We are trying to control the borders, but we can't. Lack of control, which makes it easy for prospectors such as Lokitipo to get a better price from traders than they would from the government, allowing them to buy more food for their families. Hibo Morgan Al Jazeera, Kapoita.